We're here with uh, Mark Francis, Max Pugh, and Brother Spirit for their film, Walk With Me. And so we just kind of want to get into your head, like what was your inspiration for this documentary? I knew early on that finding truth is not the same as finding happiness. You aspire to see the truth. I guess we had the feeling that uh, our monastic community is a little bit unusual in that we go out of the monastery uh, for about half of the year. We go on tour, um, offering retreats, teaching meditation here and there. So we just thought that that would be fun for people to, to see and, and find out about. At the same time, um, for me, it was actually a, a kind of uh, an excuse to get my brother to, to experience my life as a monastic and to hopefully you know, get a real deep look and understand what I was, what I was doing. So uh, in a way we weren't so concerned about the film, but we just wanted uh, these guys to have an opportunity to come and experience uh, that, that life of meditation, mindfulness, of developing uh, presence. It's filming for three years and then editing for actually realistically a couple of years after that. So it's a, it's a five year project really. Um, the challenges are keeping, keeping the vision alight, keeping the remembering why you were doing it in the first place, and that's very important because sometimes you can lose the focus because a lot of time elapses and uh, you're also working on other projects in between. It's impossible just to spend five years making one film. Uh, we also have to do um, other things, other projects overlap a bit, um, and it, at times we need to remind ourselves why we're doing what we're doing so I'd say that was the that was the biggest challenge I think one of the good helpful things about it is that we actually didn't intend for it to take this long uh, originally we thought it would only take you know a year and a half so that's always helpful when you try and uh, climb a mountain and actually don't realize how high it is so at least you begin it and then you can stick with it and just do a step by step process so the, the the time it took just just kept uh, extending because that's obviously what was needed for us to do the film in the way that we chose to make it and uh, and they have a kind of skill at being able to disappear in a way so they're often I think after after a little while we we felt that they, they weren't there anymore so they were they were present they were filming but they would just sort of blend with the energy of the of the scene and it became very very natural very easy it's funny because when I watch the film back on the big screen, e each scene there is a story to tell. Each individual scene has a story about an incredible moment that happened. And I see that uh, the majority of this film is made up of little miracles. Because our role as documentary filmmakers is to try and be present and see what happens. And when it reveals itself, we have to capture it. But we don't know what's going to happen. And we can't control what's going to happen. We have to completely let go. So there's things that happen in the film that you could never have written. Um, they just revealed itself to us and we were able to capture it. So there are a whole number of moments where we felt, wow, this is awesome to, to see and experience. This moment right now uh, felt magical. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story and letting us take a look into your life and the monastic life. And thank you for creating this wonderful film. So we appreciate having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned for more from Sneak Peek.